Kratos found himself on the very edge of Hades, the land where no mortal had set foot. Here, where the souls of the dead walk their fated path, Kratos knew that for him, this was merely the beginning. The story starts with Gilgamesh, king of the city of Uruk, crashing every wedding and sleeping with the bride before she has a chance to sleep with her husband. To tame Gilgamesh, the goddess Aruru created a rival called Enkidu. Enkidu lived beyond the walls of the city where chaos reigned and wild animals, invaders and evil spirits prowled. After a priestess of the goddess Ishtar seduced Enkidu, the wild animals beyond the wall rejected him, and he ventured into the city. There, he encountered Gilgamesh, up to his usual tricks. Enkidu stepped in to stop him. Almost perfectly matched, the two men wrestled all through the city streets until Gilgamesh won the fight by a hair. Afterwards, they were inseparable. With his new friend, Gilgamesh turned his attention from the Brides of Uruk to proving his strength in combat. They set out to slay Humbaba, a creature with a thousand faces who guarded the trees of the Forest of Cedar. They tracked Humbaba and ambushed him. Cornered, he begged for his life, then cursed them as Gilgamesh dealt the final blow. Kratos saw before him the remnants of the old rulers of Earth, the mighty Titans. Defeated by the gods and enchained in the depths of Tartarus, they suffered their unjust penance. And for their torment, it was well known that these immortal beings hated the Olympians with immeasurable fury.
The Matrix is older than you know. I prefer counting from the emergence of one integral anomaly to the emergence of the next, in which case this is the sixth version. Life on Earth has been rocked by many extinctions, great and small, including the Big Five. And if you examine the Earth's strata, its history, if you will, you'll find Corellium deposits that can be dated to each. What if the manifestation of, our, of beaches and other associated phenomena correspond to extinction-level events? You mean? Yes. Our Death Stranding could just be the latest of many. The records and research you helped us to recover strongly suggest that we are in the middle of the sixth extinction. Sixth extinction? Come on. Denial is the most predictable of all human responses. But rest assured, this will be the sixth time we have destroyed it. And we have become exceedingly efficient at it. Now is the historical moment, the time, not only to fight severe virus, but to shape the system. In short, we need a great reset. In the game, when Sam dies, he wakes up in a limbo state on the beach and sees a vision of the past five extinction entities. They brought about the last five resets, or the titular Death Stranding. The vision reveals he must be intrinsically linked with the Sith. Wim showed the mirror machine and its four resets. I feel with the time layers even closer and denser it could mean more frequent, chaotic resets. And here, whims unpetrifying, sedimented time layers. Trapped within a timeline zone, the pendulum swings through the timelines, passing each mirror portal, forming time-layered sedimentation, slowing down time. The mirror machine reflecting the swing back on itself indefinitely, or at least until it is physically stopped. At each passing of a mirror portal, we enter or exit an epoch, forming and erasing time layers as we traverse the portals. Be it Titan or human, it begins and ends with a being, anomaly archetype or extinction entity. Both are golems forged of their time layers, stone, mud and water, forever creating and destroying these epochian homunculi. Everything outside of that, either on the greater earth or through the time layer portals, is what I'm borrowing and dubbing the land of the lost. Just as I predicted, we have been, we have fallen through a time portal from our Earth to another dimension where past, present, and future are all mashed up together.
So the spiritual realms, grave Hades, that's the abode of the dead, the pit, Tartarus, bottomless pit, both on earth, lake of fire, not on earth, out there somewhere, heaven, earth. Let's recapitulate. So you have Hades and Tartarus, then you have earth and heaven. So if you want to ascend to the moon, you must be in hell. Reminds me of the Solomon system. Counter rotating. Let's presume that time exists. What would happen if you put a counter rotating mechanism in it? One pyramid would pull it forward in the future, the other one would pull it back in the past. So you would be stretching time. The Solomon system. Counter rotating. Let's presume that time exists. What would happen if you put a counter rotating mechanism in it? One pyramid would pull it forward in the future, the other one would pull it back in the past. So you would be stretching time. Take a timeline. Then you have the Solomon star. Now it starts stretching time. This is now creating a new timeline in which time is moving slower. Well, let me answer in the form of a question. Which lasts longer? A million years in which nothing happens or 10 seconds with 50,000 events crammed into it? In other words, uh, uh, really time is only experienced by the events which occur within it. And I maintain that the early universe had very little going on and consequently uh, time moved very, very slowly. Uh, the character of time as we approach the present is that there are more and more uh, what physical domains and energetic domains in which change can occur. For example, the early universe was a pure plasma, right. life, complex speciated life, and uh, dynamically balanced planetary ecosystems. Each one of those more complex phenomena crystallized out or emerged, if you will, from the previous uh, uh, systems that had come into existence. So when I say time is speeding up, what I mean really is that more and more is happening. More and more is happening. And if you ask the question, well, what would be the ultimate state of connectivity or of happening? It's when all points are connected to all other points. Somehow this concept of connectivity is intimately linked to the concept of complexity. And so really what I'm saying is that the universe is getting its act together. Tell me the properties of the mandrake root. Yes, Miss Granger. Mandrake, or mandragora, is used to return those who've been petrified to their original state.
should remember that BBs are just equipment. Try not to get attached. Bridge babies are quite literally bridges between this world and the other side. Their place is not here with us, nor with the BTs over there. They belong precisely in between, with no greater affinity for one world or the other. But BB-28 here has been leaning further and further towards the world of the living. Towards you, Sam. That's because we're partners. Hmm. Partners? Sam, a BB's a tool, not a human being. Bridge, yes. Baby, no. Status is fucked. There's tons of them. Can you sit out the rain? No. They're closing in on my position. I have to move before they realize I'm in here. Sam, if one of those things eats you, it'll trigger a void out. You'll come back, sure. But the surrounding area will still be a crater. I got an idea. Same as you, to remember. Open your mind. Open your mind. Open your mind. They held. Wait, dead man. It appears to be an umbilical cord. Human by the looks of it, I think. But this was no ordinary conduit between fetus and placenta. It looks more like a BT's tether. And this was Mama's? Yes. Hmm. A body that doesn't necrotize and an umbilical cord connected to the beach.
I woke up on the beach. The people who died in the two void outs were there. What happened? What's going on? the desert of the real. With the box, many things become possible, and so it is hidden well, far across the desert of lost souls. There is safe passage through the deadly sands, but only those who hear and follow the siren's song will discover it. You must find the sirens, Kratos. Only they can guide you to Kronos, the Titan. A Titan lives? Kronos is the last. Zeus has commanded him to wander the desert endlessly, the Temple of Pandora chained to his back, until the swirling sands rip the very flesh from his bones. Stay true to the song of the Siren Kratos. Your journey begins here. Pray it leads you back to Athens, with Pandora's box. <laughs> <laughs> 